you know, the acquisition of uh, Activision Blizzard uh, for uh, Microsoft is a story that keeps on going. And basically, it came out uh, yesterday, yesterday, a uh, Monday, I believe, on Labor Day, that there was a, a, a memo of sorts that uh, Microsoft's Phil Spencer sent to Sony and to uh, Activision, basically saying that Xbox is committing to COD for being on PS on PlayStation for quote unquote several years. I mean, that's really the story. Uh, Zero, what are your thoughts on uh, Phil Spencer saying that? Um, it's more of a, con- a contractual obligation because of the fact that just um, when Activision Blizzard uh, made that exclusivity, a contract that PlayStation would be the official place to play the Call of Duty tournaments and things like that. And, I mean, that's that's all I kind of see this it, uh, as being um, at as cynical as that may sound, that is just kind of a, hey, don't worry, we're um, we're just we're just gonna abide by business as usual. Don't don't freak out. Yeah, and that's really that's really the most that I can really see of this. Just um, especially since there's been a lot of forum chatter about doom and gloom and stuff like that. Like, oh my god, just just um, uh, the Call of Duty tournaments are gonna be on Xbox. Uh, this this blows. Um, and and it's really funny too because of course it's always it's always just the tryhards on the forums that bitch about this sort of thing and make yeah. it more than it seems because I saw some some tryhards going ah this is bullshit now I have to go buy an Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series X is a garbage console but if I want to compete and maybe maybe attempt to go to the pro circuit for for competitive Call of Duty I have to have an Xbox yeah and and Again, it's it, it's just a simple matter of reading comprehension. That if they would actually sit uh, sit down and read the article, it literally spells it out that yeah, this is still a contract obligation. That um, things likely are not to uh, are not going to change while the contract is still in action. And I think the contract has maybe a couple more years to go. So right. it's not like it's going to be anything immediate. Yeah, at it, least it, as far as I can see. Right. At minimum, it's three years. I would say at most, it's probably five or six years on the contract. My guess is what that is. Basically, what this, what what it sounds like to me is what's going to happen with COD when it comes to being on PlayStation is this generation, COD's going to be on PlayStation. That's it. Like this generation, you're gonna, it's going to be on Game Pass on an Xbox, but they will put it on PlayStation. You can buy it for seventy dollars if you want. Uh, on PlayStation, it'll be the generation after that is where I think that they will cut off COD from PlayStation, because uh, at at this point, like what once this goes through, and there's still questions as to whether it will or not. I still think it will, but it's okay to question whether it will or not. I think that. Excuse me. I think that basically we're looking at at least yeah like you said the contract that they have is probably going to be it is probably going to be uh, honored which they've already said i wouldn't be surprised if they have a new contract where for after that contract's done where they allow it on playstation but the cut is much larger on microsoft side and at that point Sony might just say, no, nah, screw it. We don't want it now. That could be a possibility. But I foresee that COD will be on PlayStation for at least this generation. And that's probably it. I don't think I don't think the PS5, as long as the PS5 is out, I think you'll see a COD every year. I, I think, at least. Maybe a PlayStation yeah. 6 that's going to change, but PlayStation 5, I think you guys are okay. Yeah, and I'd probably be inclined to agree with that as well too that they're not going to they're not going to cut off one platform just because hey, just that's a competing platform. Um, they're just going to see that the money's there and it'll just be it'll just be a game that when you kick on your uh, your PS5, it's going to say 
a Xbox Game Studios, and that that's probably going to be surreal for a lot of uh, a lot of PlayStation loyalists out there seeing an Xbox logo pop up on their PS5. But that'll just be the nature of things.